All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So, check it out. Merch. Bigfoot Bushcraft. Yes, we are affiliated with Bigfoot Bushcraft. The reason being is because their products are freaking awesome. Now, I have done many reviews on these. I put these things through the test. Uh, one of our last um, tests that we did, we were doing our uh, survival, basic tra uh, survival training course, and it rained all the time, and I showed starting to fire with Bigfoot Bushcraft in that wet condition. So today I want to go ahead and take it a step forward. It's been raining like crazy, but today we got a nice day, so I can come out here and film because I can't film in the rain with this gear I have because you can't plug in the microphone, you can't hear my voice. So what we got here, Bigfoot Bushcraft sent us a very large bag of their fire plugs. That are uh, that's these guys right here. All right. So they sent us a 200 uh, quantity bag of this. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing a lot of fires, and I like having these gear. Now, I've done a lot of gear review, and I've been out in the woods a lot. If you guys have been following me for a while, I'm always out in the woods, and I'm always getting fire started either by a bow drill, magnesium fire started using ferrocene rods, uh, Vaseline pads, and uh, cotton. I, you name it, I'm doing it. These things here are reliable. This is why I like them. All right, so windproof, waterproof, five-minute burn time, and I put that to the test. So today, what we're going to do... We got our Bigfoot Bushcraft uh, ferrocene rod here. I'll tell you what, guys. This ferrocene rod is awesome to begin with because it's like a half-inch diameter. It's a large rod. But their striker, I just love their striker, guys. It's got a raised edge on this thing, which makes it freaking awesome when you're slinging sparks. It really does. This stuff is awesome. So, what we're going to do, I got some material here. We're going to put this thing, non-edited test. I got a gallon of water. See where I'm going here? I've got cedar bark. I've got some dry grass hay that's growing out here. And I've got, I don't know what type of plant this is. It, when it dries out, it's, it's dried out wood when it, when it dries out. And it'll stand standing like this all the time. So I'm gonna break this material down and we're going to uh, pour water all over it. And we're gonna start a fire. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, we're not editing anything here. We're gonna set it all right here. Set it all out. A larger pieces, you always have to have your tinder pile too. This stuff here, very important when starting a fire. Set it down here. Set this material close by. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see me soak this down. There we go. Again, fire plugs are supposed to be waterproof, right? So let's go ahead and do it this way. I've got my plugs pouring water on them. That's these guys right here. So they're right there. I'm gonna put my hand here so we can kind of get this all wet. Kind of splash it around a little bit. There we go. We're using a whole gallon, guys. Why not, right? Let's put it through the test. What if your gear fell in the water? Okay. Let's say your gear fell in the water. So now what are you going to do? Well, we're going to slide this out of the way. Get our fire plugs here. Let me make sure we're still on camera. Because I don't want to do this off camera because that kind of sucks. All right, yes, we are still on camera. All right, move my fire kit out of the way here. Just get out of the water because so we're actually in a puddle here. I'm gonna shake our fire plug. I'm only gonna use one. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just use one. Set that there. We've got our grass here. Shake moisture off of that. We've got our cedar bark. Oh yeah, that's some. Ugh. That's gonna be interesting there. Ring it out. Same with that. Oh yeah. That's a lot of water in this stuff. But that's alright. We're putting this stuff through the test. Out there, I don't have to worry about ringing that out. Alright. So, 
I'm going to take a fire plug. We're going to break it. Set it up just like that right there. I am going to build ourselves a log structure right fast. Just give us some room for everything to breathe. We'll get our fire started here. I just want something up high enough where I can lay our material on top of it so that it actually catches fire good. Bringing things out guys. Why not put that cedar bark up there too? All right, before we get too far carried away, we still need to strike our uh, fire plugs, which are down here. There we go. Might help if I actually hit it. Make sure we got oxygen going to everything. We do. And we're gonna let this burn. Let's see how long these fire plugs will burn for five minutes, by the way, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get one of these out here. I can show you this. Set it over here, out of the way. So the fire plugs are right here. They're ignited. Watching a fire here, make sure you I mean you guys saw me boil the water all over it, right? So what we're doing because we left the cavity there, that fire from the fire plug should start getting that tender material ignited, and we should be able to get everything kind of dried out where we can blow the rest into flames. So we're just gonna let it sit there, do its thing. Just like this right here. Now, do you have to maneuver a few things around? Well, of course, you know. That ain't cheating. We're just moving some stuff around. What dries out and stuff like that. So, see a lot of white smoke being produced because there's so much wetness in here. And that's still on fire, by the way. Slide that out of the way so I don't lose it. Woo! Put that out. Ha! Ah. I just burned my finger. Ouch. Now it's going to a little bit blister. Alright, so we're just going to let this burn do its thing. That's one of the things I do like about Bigfoot bushcraft is that no matter what type of scenario I was in, I could always get the fire going. Let me swing the camera in here and make sure we're still in frame. We are perfect. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got fire. If I quit messing with it, we'll have fire. Good, going good. All this material, like I said, is wet. I mean, there's some of it still sitting over here. So I'm gonna wring it out. But we got fire, guys. Serious wet conditions right there. Now, in my video where I was showing this um, at the camp, it had been raining all day. It was nasty out, everything was soaked. It's been raining all day yesterday, but we did have some sunlight out today. So I wanted to actually take a gallon of water, and pour all over everything, just to show, without editing anything, this stuff works. This stuff is freaking amazing. This is why we're affiliated with Bigfoot Bushcraft. Their, their products, guys, I can 100% stand behind their products because I actually test these things, not just in the yard. I take this out to the woods, miles away from everybody, and I have to rely on this in wet condition. I have to rely on a very good ferrocene rod that won't break in my hand, that I know will throw good sparks each time in wet conditions. So that's why I'm affiliated with Bigfoot Bushcraft. Amazing product. You guys can definitely find their links for them in the description. I will also put it in the comment section. They are, they, I, I really love their product. I, I just got a mouthful of smoke. Really love their products, guys. I mean, 
there's no accelerant in this except for the fire plug itself and we're gonna be doing a lot more reviews on this stuff guys uh, next time we get a good rainy condition where I can build a little structure over the camera we'll do another video on that this is something I keep in my fire kit they have a travel tin I've shown those you can I've been able to fit like 25 in this travel tin there should be a pop-up there for you and I do know that they they recently added a black painted uh, travel tin which is actually pretty cool I did not get one of those yet I have to get me one they just look really really cool so probably be a collector's item or something like that so I'm gonna go check in on that but to Bigfoot bushcraft definitely do appreciate the hookup I love the, the shirt I would look forward to getting some more shirts from you because I am proud to say we're affiliated with you guys I look forward to sponsoring and you know advertising your company more because I'm always out in the woods and to be able to start a fire after pouring I mean I just lit it and put everything on top of it and let it do its thing that's it I didn't have to do nothing else to this yeah freaking awesome great product guys all right again check them out guys the links are in the description you're not you're not going to be uh, sorry for it one bit you will love these products trust me on this all right talk to y'all later